So I promised I'd do a video on wet blending. Um, so this is going to be a very sort of rough, um, very rough video, probably with no editing because I mostly can't be bothered. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do a bit of wet blending on lovely Testamarine's shoulder pad here. Uh, this is how I do it. I don't know if this is the, the proper way to do it, but it's it's how I've had uh, quite a lot of of luck. So um, I'm going to do it just some, with some greys, um, but I thought I would take this opportunity to do a bit of paint thinning as well. Um, so I find a lot of the time um, people, we all know how, you know, we're supposed to thin our paints, but um, nobody really knows how to. So um, I'll show you how I thin my paints um, and hopefully it'll help someone. So. This is uh, some very old Eschen Grey, I'm kind of scraping it out the bottom of the barrel here. Um, and there is no set quantity of how much water you're supposed to add to how much paint. Because your paint can be thicker, some colours are thicker than others, it could have been, it could have dried out, it could have been older. Um, and the way I was always taught to do it was, you want to reach the consistency of milk. and the way I've found when you know you've reached that consistency is when you pull the paint out slightly and it shrinks back very, very slightly from where you've pulled it. So this hasn't, so it needs a little bit more water. So we'll put a touch more water in there. And then if we pull it slightly, nope, a little bit more. And pull it out, you can see it shrink back just a little bit and then you know it's the right consistency don't know if you can see it just shrink back very slightly so that's my eschen and I have a bit of celestra grey which again is quite thick so some eschen on there and we will give this a little bit of a thin as well and pull it out a little bit more so yeah consistency of milk and when you pull it out you'll see it shrink back very slightly it's quite hard to see but that's what you are looking for. So when I do the wet blending, I don't tend to use a really nice brush, um, just using uh, my old um, small layer brush here. And you want to block on most of the colors first. So I'll do the bottom of the shoulder pad in Celestra. to about here and then you want the top of it in Eschen try and keep this in the middle of the uh, camera for you And uh, you're going to want two thin coats, so I am going to pause this video while it dries. So that's our first coat dry. So we are now ready to put on the second thin coat of paint. And as you notice, when the first coat goes on, it is quite patchy. And that is normal, because it's quite transparent. And it's what you want, really, because you know if it goes on like that, then it's not going to be lumpy. It's going to be a nice smooth coat when you're finished. So, now, we're not going to wait for this to dry because we're going to get right into our blending. So the way I do this is we put one colour on bit thicker than I normally would so the paint is thin 
but I'm putting it on thicker because I'm going to be spreading it around. And then I put on the other colour and I tend to work in little sections so you just kind of smoosh them into each other. And I find that you have to do this a couple of times to get it smooth. So you bring in the lighter colour up a bit and the darker colour down. And I don't wash my brush in between because I find it takes too long and the paint dries. So I'll just wipe it off or I'll just go straight into the other colour. Hopefully this is still in focus and you can see what I'm doing. So adding a little more of the light colour down to the bottom, mixing it up, and I'll take the paint off of my paintbrush um, if it's on too thick, and then kind of just little swirls really, just little swirls. So we get a bit of uh, now we can go from here actually, from the back where we haven't done any. So, oh, I keep knocking my camera as well. So, put a bit of Eschen on. And different paints have different consistencies. Eschen grey is a very thin paint, um, and Celestra grey is quite a thick paint. So, you might find you need more Eschen grey on than you do the Celestra. So what, because you can see that the Celestra really sort of dominates and you might need a little bit more esh in there just over the top. And you can see it's sort of starting to blend together now. So at this point I would let it completely dry. So the whole thing's completely dry and then I would do the whole process again. So what we'll do is we'll pause the video while it dries and then we'll carry on. Right, so this is dry now, so we will carry on with another coat. Um, we'll pop our ocean grey on. This is very hard to do with a phone in front of my face, but I think it's hopefully going okay. So I've taken the, the paint off of my brush now, and now I'm going to mix the two together. And go up the shoulder pad a little bit here and then take the paint off the brush grab a bit of the ash in so you can use um, paint retarders um, that will stop the paint drying as quickly um, it's really a matter of preference I'm not using it here I'm just using water but they can be quite helpful. I found them really useful in the summer when it was really hot and my paint was drying really quickly. So paint off of the brush and some esh uh, some Celestra there. A bit more Eschen. Mix the two together. Hopefully we're still in focus here. That gives a bit better. So blend down there on the top so it's just a very very gradual process and you just keep putting more and more paint on until you're kind of happy with where it is and I like I said I do it in in small sections so maybe like half a centimeter so that's probably so I shouldn't get a bit more action at the top just to Blend it back into the, the original colour there. So that's, you can see it's getting quite a nice blend. And then I'll turn them round and I'll work on this bit here as well. I'll put some of the dark colour on. Take the paint off the brush. Yes, I'm licking it off the brush. I've probably eaten quite a lot of paint at this point. I wouldn't recommend you do it. But just, you know, if you wonder how the, the paint is magically disappearing from the brush. Don't do this at home. There we go. Some action. And if you start to sort of pull the layer below off, then 
then just stop and uh, wait for it to dry. Or uh, another trick is you can use a hair dryer to dry it quickly and then you can start again. And uh, all the banging in the background, that's just my chinchillas who uh, live in the hobby room. So just in case you're wondering what that is. And yeah, you just keep going. And um, just keep mixing. Just little strokes, sometimes side strokes, sometimes little round strokes, just to kind of mix the paint together. And then eventually you get to a point where you're happy with it. Well, it looks something like that. And that, internet people, is how I do wet blending. That's not very focused, is it? But can you try and focus on that a bit better? There we go. Um, I probably would do another layer on that once it's dry, just to, to get it even smoother. Um, but that's that's basically your premise. So I think, yeah, I would end up doing sort of three coats on that. And that's uh, that's how I do wet blending. <laughs>